Hi everyone, welcome to Naresh Technologies. This is Srinivas. In this video, I am going to explain how to define a class and how to create object for the class using constructor. Here, the concept is class and constructor, constructor in JavaScript. So, how to define the class? In the last video, we have discussed already class is just a representation of object. We are defining objects, so objects will communicate in the object oriented world, nothing but in object oriented application. So, classes is mandatory, classes mandatory to define the object. Here how to define the class and how to create object. Here we are writing one class, we are writing one class, first we are saving, we are saving the file on any location. Suppose here it is I choose the desktop, here it is I have choose the desktop. On my desktop I have given that name, just any name simply to say like demo dot extension is a JS, it is a JavaScript, the file created on the window, on the desktop. Now here it is a coding part, here we are writing the class, here it is a we need to follow that the rules, just class it is showing all are in a lower case only, it is a case sensitive, for class any name you can provide, any name, suppose class is a test or class is a program. Inside the class we are defining constructor, constructor name is a constructor only, constructor and it is a function, it is a special function it will execute automatically whenever we create the object. It is one method, you can say that function, but it is a special function. So, whenever you try to create object for class, see the class name and here it is look at the constructor name, both are different, but whenever you create object automatically the constructor will call. Sir, what is the purpose of constructor? That we will see in the next video, but here it is a we are just checking the constructor is executing or not. Sir, how can we understand that constructor is executing or not? Just by displaying any message from the constructor. The only way to understand as a programmer, if you want to analysis, if you want to analyze the code, the only way is what? By printing the messages, by printing the messages. Sir, how to print messages on the console, nothing but on the screen? There is a predefined object called console console and in that there is a function called log. Using the log method of console object, we can display that message, information we can display and this is just object created, the message we are providing like this, object created. It is a statement just ending with a semicolon. We have defined one class and inside the class we have defined one constructor and from the constructor we are just printing one message just to check the constructor is executing or not. By displaying the messages only we can confirm that ok, constructor is executing. So, then how to create object, right? Here it is just from outside you can take another class to call or directly you can execute. With the help of new keyword, with the help of new keyword is almost looking like a Java. So, that is the reason. So, what is the difference between Java and JavaScript? The people thinking that JavaScript is a Java is almost no, right? So, why they use that JavaScript means what? Almost it follows the terminology and the syntactical rules of Java. So, that is the reason we call it as a JavaScript. Here it is a new and followed by we need to call that constructor. How to call? By calling the program name. Whenever we call that program name is nothing but class name whenever we call, whenever we call automatically the constructor gets executed, constructor executed. Sir, how to run this program? Here it is, I have saved this program on my desktop. So, manually I am going to execute with the help of node software, with the help of node, because generally if you want to execute the script, right, we use a HTML but instead of that manually we are writing here, here it is, we are just opening the command prompt manually, 
we just move to move to desktop location change that directory to desktop and we are on the desktop and the file is also on the desktop that is demo.js javascript file and here it is clearly we are executing like this node node and demo.js whenever we execute here it is you will get the output see look at this object created object created whatever the message we are printing here the same message will be displayed on the screen will be displayed on the console so program execution starts here whenever we call the constructor see this is calling constructor whenever we call the constructor then the constructor gets executed sir what is the reason it's so actually which is used to store information inside the object but those things we will discuss later how to store information what is the exact purpose of constructor and all so we are going to discuss in a coming sessions okay and why as we are explaining this means what that implementation of stack queue and linked list using classes and objects only that's the reason first i am explaining the tutorial of a classes and objects if you already good at you can skip the video or you can continue with this video tutorial and finally we are going to implement the data structures and algorithms hope you understood for more videos please subscribe to narishadi channel thank you